I'm not sure if you get it or not, but Crypto is actually voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's the same guy who voiced Maui from Mona and that Scorpion King dude from the Mummy franchise. Even though the Scorpion King is a villain from The Mummy Returns, everybody has a man crush on him because he's the sexiest man alive. Additionally, the sexiest Samoan man alive. He can also speak Maori and Samoan because he's Polynesian and trilingual who can speak three languages too. Did I mention he also voiced Cupa from Civilization VI Gathering Storm? Okay, enough talk. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> The history of La Danse du Cochon. The special Tahitian Hakka guttural chant. Hello and good morning, class. I apologize for my tardiness. I became so engrossed in studying the pig dance on YouTube that I ended up staying up late last night. Regardless, let's get started. Shall we? Today we will learn about the special Tahitian Hakka chant known as La Danse du Cochon, which translates to the pig dance in English. It's performed by men and features a deep, guttural chant that expresses strength and power. Let's begin by watching a video of the pig dance. Pay attention to the rhythm of the chant and the expressions on the faces of the men as they perform it. Now that we've seen a performance of the pig dance, let's discuss some of the key elements that make it so special. The chant is made up of a series of deep, guttural sounds that are often repeated several times in a row. The men chant with a fierce expression on their faces, and many people find the chant to be quite intimidating. However, it's important to note that the pig dance is not meant to mock or belittle pigs in any way. It's a ritualized chant that expresses strength and power, and the pig imagery is meant to represent these qualities. The chant is often performed at festivals and other public gatherings in Tahiti, and many people find it to be a stunning display of Tahitian culture. It's not uncommon for people to come from all over the world to see a performance of a pig dance, and it's one of the most iconic aspects of Tahitian culture. In conclusion, the pig dance is a special Tahitian Hakka chant that expresses strength and power. It's performed by a group of men who chant together in a deep, guttural voice, and features a unique and captivating rhythm. It's a must-see for anyone interested in Tahitian culture, 
and it's a testament to the rich and diverse cultural heritage of Tahiti. Wait, so the traditional skirts also mean loincloths for men? That's correct. In Tahiti, the paroyas that men wear is called maro and are considered to be a form of loincloth. They are often made from traditional hand-loomed fabric and are worn with the waistline tied at the hip. In Tahiti, the use of loincloths or skirts has deep cultural and spiritual significance. They are often worn during ceremonies and rituals and are thought to provide protection and spiritual power to those who wear them. In the context of la danse du cochon, the paroyas are worn by men as a sign of respect and reverence for the sacred ceremony. They contribute to the sense of ritual and ceremony that surrounds the chant and are seen as an important part of the cultural heritage of Tahiti. The guttural chanting in La Dance du Cocon is quite low and deep. The men who perform the chant use their gut and diaphragm muscles to create a powerful and otherworldly sound. This type of chanting is often said to have the power to ward off evil spirits and to invoke the protection of the gods. It's also said to have healing properties and is thought to have the ability to help those who are dealing with physical or emotional pain. The deep, guttural sound of the chanting is truly mesmerizing to listen to. It's a truly powerful and unforgettable experience to hear it in person. Oh wow. The guttural chanting kinda sounds like gorillas. No offense though, it's just really fascinating. Like, the power and depth in it is really incredible. No offense taken. Your observation is actually quite accurate. The guttural chanting in La Dance du Cocon is known for its power and depth, and it's often described as having a primal or ancient quality to it. As you mentioned, many people have compared the guttural chanting to the sounds made by gorillas or other large primates. In fact, some believe that the chanting is even older than human civilization itself, and that it has its roots in the ancient call of the animal kingdom. Regardless of its origins, the guttural chanting in La Dance du Cocon is a truly unique and powerful cultural practice. It's a testament to the enduring strength and resilience of the Tahitian people, and it's a privilege to learn about it. It's important to note that the guttural chanting is a deeply personal and spiritual experience for the men who perform it. While it may sound primitive or animalistic to some, it is a profoundly meaningful and sacred cultural practice for the Tahitian people. So. While it may be interesting to compare the chanting to the sounds made by gorillas or other large primates, we must always be mindful of the cultural and spiritual significance of this practice. It's not just about the sounds themselves, but rather the deeper meaning and significance that they hold for the Tahitian people. With that being said, I do think that the comparison to gorillas and other animals can be a helpful way to think about the power and depth of the guttural chanting. It's truly an otherworldly experience to hear it in person. Well, would you look at that? The bell rings. All right, class dismissed. <gasps> class, I've received an email from King Shark. As many of you know, he's Polynesian and has been planning a Maori and Tahitian haka performance to be held in Tahiti at the end of the school year. The performance will include the La Danse du Cochon chant, which is a truly mesmerizing and powerful cultural tradition. As a history and social studies teacher, I think this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us all to see the performances in person. King Shark will be hosting the event, and I'm sure he'll make a fantastic host. I know it's a big trip, but I encourage all of you to consider making the journey to Tahiti this summer. It's an incredible place with rich cultural traditions and being there during a performance like this would be a truly unforgettable experience. I'll be putting all the details in our class email, so keep an eye out for that. And don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions you may have. Okay class, that's all for now. Have a great day. Next week on GoAnimate Tunes, the entire crew and group of GoAnimate School Academy is on the field trip to Tahiti. The students are excited to explore the beautiful beaches, tropical islands and of course, the famous haka dance. But what the school doesn't know is that King Shark and his team of friends are prepared to give us a performance to remember. 
Get ready to witness the Haka chant of Maori and Tahitian. The powerful, rhythmic movements of the Haka dance will be accompanied by the deep guttural chanting by men. Can our students handle the intensity of the Haka dance? Stay tuned to find out. It's all happening, only on GoAnimate Tunes. GoAnimate School Academy, and a field trip to Tahiti. King Shark, and the Haka chant dance of Maori and Tahitian. Get ready for an intense experience. Prepare to awaken your warrior spirit.